set up here in a bit, kind of just rushed into this, but <clears throat> I do appreciate everyone here who's um, sharing this live. Thank you guys for sharing it at Marama uh, Salamat sa inyong bagong pasok. Thank you all for joining. Again, this episode will be for like to talk about with y'all. Um, too bad I can't see something here really quick. Sorry guys, just give me one minute. I gotta check something. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. No, 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 no. Let's just give it one more minute and then I'm gonna get started right when we hit on, when we get featured on. So let's get started. I have a special guest uh, for this episode that I'd like to invite on the show. But before we invite him on the show, I wanna share with you guys um, some things. Well, first, um, I'd like to take this moment to have your father around. Please, I really encourage you guys to take this moment that you have uh, to send them a message, write them a letter, give them a big hug, because uh, we're all kind of in this short life, you know, life and time really passes by quick. So I really, I encourage you guys. So yeah, when you show that love to your dad and connect with him, you know, it's really nourishing uh, for your soul really because uh, we are made to love one another right God made us so he could love us and we could love him and um, the gift for the show thank you guys for the virtual among the stickers wow we already got a uh, chocolate hills in the house big thank you for the stickers thank you Paul. big bless big bless thank you guys so I prepared for you guys some fun facts about fathers that really speak to me and I, I pray and hope that it can also speak to you guys. But for now, first, let's go into some fun facts here. Now, number one, Father's Day was invented by American Mrs. Sonora, smart dog. That's an interesting name. Who won it? Yeah, that's interesting. Um, we don't really think about that, right? Who made who, or who thought of Father's Day? But it's actually uh, by Miss Sonora, smart dog. And it, the first one they celebrated was on June 19, 1910. And you think about that, that's like 110 years ago. It's not. All right, number two, fun fact number two we have. The first American president to support the concept of Father's Day was President Calvin Coolidge, who, de who did so in 1924. But it wasn't until in the year 1966 that President Lyndon Johnson June as Father's Day. So that's some background how they came up with the date, how it got set in place as Father's Day. And here's another fun fact for you guys. According to Greetings Cards uh, Makers Hallmark, Father's Day is the fifth largest card sending holiday. <laughs> and I'm gonna let this be the last fun fact that I share with you guys before I uh, welcome my special guest on here for you all. Uh, fun fact goes, number five, in Germany, this is interesting, in Germany, Father's Day, right, but Munertag is celebrated by getting drunk with wagons of beer and indulging in regional food. Police and emergency services are in high alert during the day. So in Germany, they, uh, they, they celebrate way different, right? Uh, give them a hug. Give them a tight hug. Sana in wag kayong lasing. Okay. So, hello, Fonzie. Hi, guys. Hello. Without further ado, this episode's going to be a, a great one. I, I want to kick it off with a with a good start. Before I, okay. Heavenly Father, God in heaven, thank you, Lord, for this time that we have right now, God that you had set and planned in place, Lord, we know that nothing is an accident, God. And uh, we're just so grateful for everything that you've been doing in our lives, Lord. But we know 
And we understand that um, this gift that you have given us of family and uh, on this special day of Father's Day is uh, something very special where we'd like to thank you, Lord, for the fathers out there. Um, Lord, thank you for uh, giving us family where we can love one another, of having children and being fathers uh, for those fathers out there in the world, Lord, and also mothers, of course, and family in general, Lord. We really thank you, Lord, for this gift of family and fathers out here. Lord, you are God, our Father, and we thank you. Happy Father's Day, God. We are celebrating this day, and uh, we just hear and are longing for your word, God. Uh, open up our spiritual eyes, our spiritual ears, God, and just protect our thoughts, protect our minds, and guide our tongues, guide everything, Lord, for we put our trust in you, Lord. This we pray, and we thank you, Jesus, for what you did on the cross for our sins, that we may not perish, but have you. Hallelujah. Woo! There we go. That's how you start it off, huh? Okay, let's get the music back on. I like uh, pulling up random background music on uh, YouTube. Who are out there who are dads. What tips can you give to them or advice I, to them? I think one of the big lessons I had was to be patient with a little child because mm -hmm. they're not like a dog. They, they learn their lessons slowly and they, it, it, they, they will repeat their mistakes. This is his first few moments here on earth or out in the public, I should say. And so he, I said, you know more about the angels in heaven than you know about this world. And, and he, he went, <laughs> yeah, uh, married her and we made a baby and, and that was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> and that was pretty hey, that's cool. A, that's a big deal, you know. It's really hard to find a woman in the world that's going to be good, a good wife, you know. So okay. That's a big help. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, <laughs> but don't let her give up either, because Sarah was ninety years old when she married, and when she gave birth to baby Avery or baby Isaac, you know. So. Yeah. No. Well, yeah. I'm just messing around. <laughs> Just be nice to each other at yeah. least, right? <laughs> so they're married. Say one nice thing, the first thing that comes to your mind about mom. Uh, that she's got a big heart and that she'll do anything for you. And she, her love is, it gets you right, right here. Oh, oh. She's good. I saw the but Abraham I, and Sarah part too. I want to say happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. Yeah, so, because uh, you guys are helping your your families in ways that they don't ever ever know that you're doing, and it's it's a sacrificial, natural uh, tendency for a father to do things like that, and they're doing it for their kids. So you're you're investing into them in a beautiful way. Oh, that's sweet. Mm -hmm. Such a that's a great message. I, I'm very. I'm 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 encouraged by that, but my I didn't know. Wow. Okay. Okay. Look at him over here with this speech. All right. Well, that's up for dad. What sort of things did he bestow upon you growing up? Well, he he always uh, encouraged faith in our our lives. But what what I really remember about him is that he he wasn't highly educated. He he had a high school degree, you know, and all that, but. But he, he was smart, focus and concentrate, and he could tell you how they did it. Yeah, yeah. It was just amazing. And uh, he he was always there for us, you know, and that, that, that really is amazing that he was able to do that. Even against all odds, he he didn't back down, you know. Mm -hmm. It was pretty cool. Um, I don't make up stories. I, I, I experience them. And so I'm going to tell you a, a very true thing. Uh, my father, when he was about about 74 years old, he was dying, and he was dying into my arms. And and my my he was, I was looking up at out the window, and I saw a little pepper speck spot in the sky, and and uh, this and I it was a blue sky, and and I looked, and it it just kept fixating my eye on it and it got bigger and bigger and bigger until it was coming closer and closer and so 
a real angel. And it was bigger than, than anybody I ever met. And he got behind my father and my father was dying and he was kind of starting to shake and move around and then, and he was becoming detached from his body is what he was doing. And the angel body toward the angel front, backwards. And when he sat back at first, he, I saw his eyes look a little bit startled and he's looking around like, what's going on here? You know, and it, this is real. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but I was watching him. I, but it was such a holy moment. I couldn't speak. I, you know, he didn't think or hurry or do anything. He, he, just, he eternally just was there peacefully. And, and then my father just went into his arms and, and then it was secured and sure and true. And then, then the angel just swooped him up and went out the same tiny spot in the sky and then I couldn't see it anymore but I didn't want to let go I kept looking and looking till it was gone and then I said to myself wow my father taught me how to live and he taught me how to die wow. and the scripture says uh, whatever you do do it wow. one, one beautiful beautiful uh, rare experience is to to see a, a real angel and at a moment such as that, you know, pretty cool. When he would tell that story to us as kids, we're like just kids just listening like, I mean, just imagine how we as kids would, you know, spiritual realm, spiritual world's absolutely real. So uh, <clears throat> uh, I want to say thank you for uh, taking your time to guest on my show, Papa. Oh, and me. Uh, we really, I'm sure we really appreciate it and enjoyed your time here. And uh, I want to feature you on a few of you very much. Well, thank you, Andre, for letting me be a father. And um, it's a privilege having a son like you. So God bless you. Okay. Aloha. And uh, see, so you just you guys probably know why I really wanted to just give him some time to go hop on this show and tell you some of his uh, life experiences. Um, yeah, I am very, very blessed to have him as my dad. And um, <clears throat> this, 